What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today I'm doing race fix for the 2023 Tennessee Lottery 250. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This weekend after a one week off break, the NASCAR Xfinity Series makes its return to Nashville Super Speed, the 1.33 mile track. This is also the first race in 2023 that will be on the NBC Network as NBC takes over for the rest of the 2023 NASCAR season. This track is known for being a track position race, so it's going to be really, really tough to pass, and you're going to have a very difficulty pass as the weather is expected to be really, really warm. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So weather for this weekend is going to be pretty warm. It's going to be 87 degrees to high with 67 degrees to low with right now a 20% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies. Should be some pretty warm weekend. I recommend wearing shorts. If you're going to the track, make sure you're conditioned, make sure to drink water, and make sure you have sunscreen on going out to the track this weekend. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, because we've had a lot of new subscribers as of recently, here's how picks work on the channel for the Xfinity Series. I do two suck picks, two job respect to struggle. Been having a lot of bad runs this year, where I think are going to run really, really bad. Two underdog picks, two job respect on really, really good under fun equipment who are needing a really good run. And then I do my winner's pick, draw I think is going to win. And then I do the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend. And unlike for the Cup Series, I do four drivers for you need to watch out for in Xfinity and also in trucks as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Tennessee Lottery 250 at Nashville? My first suck pick is a driver of the nine car for Junior Motorsports, and that is Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones has been extremely underwhelming in the 2023 season. I think Brandon Jones only had one or two top tens throughout the whole 2023 season. We're on like race 15 or race 16 of the Xfinity Series season. I thought coming this year, Brandon Jones was going to be a lot better. And like I said, he has been extremely underwhelming and has underperformed in so many different ways and so many different aspects. While his team is are front competing for wins and competing to lead, you've got Brandon Jones running outside the top 10 on a consistent basis and is right now outside of the cutoff line and has to basically make it an auto win at this point. It's been a struggling year, and sadly, I think Brandon Jones is not going to run well this weekend at Nashville. My second suck pick for this weekend is the driver of the 11 car for Call Racing, Daniel Hemrick. It's been an up and down season for Daniel Hemrick so far. He's on one hand had some pretty decent runs that go back to Marlins earlier this year, where he ran in the top five a lot of the day. And then he's also had some races like Portland where something's gone run and something has gone awry in a really, really bad way. And sadly, I think Daniel Hemrick is going to have a pretty bad run. Call Racing's been up and down so far in the 2023 season, and sadly, I think Daniel Hemrick is not going to have a good run. I think something's going to go terribly wrong for Daniel Hemrick this weekend, and I think he struggles this weekend at Nashville Super Speedway. And now we're going to hinge up on the underdog picks for the Xfinity Series race in Nashville. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend is the driver of the 48 car for Big Machine Racing, Parker Klergerman. Parker Klergerman's had an up and down start through the 2023 season, but I feel like over the last couple of weeks, I've been seeing a lot more improvement and a lot more speed. Had a pretty decent run at Portland, was contending for a win up there, but made a mistake near the end of the race. And then he had a pretty decent car at Sonoma where he ran a top 10 pretty much all day long. This also is a hometown race for Big Machine Racing, as Scott Brochet, the owner team, is from the national area, and Big Machine Record Records is from this area as well. I think Park Lurie has a really, really good run. Contends for a top 10. This car ran really well last year here as well. I think Park Lurieman is going to have a pretty good run this weekend at Nashville. My second underdog pick for this weekend is a driver 77 car for Spire Motorsports, Carson Hosomar. Carson Osmar, in both the times he's driven a 77 car, has finished in the top 10. I think his worst finish might be 6 or 7 so far in those two races he driven for Spire Motorsports. I think this car is going to be contending for a top 5 and might even have an outside shot of winning. I think Carson Osmar is an extremely talented driver and a really, really great driver. But improving as a driver and his talent and his race craft has been getting better as well. I think Carson Osmar has a very, very solid, a very, very strong run and will contend for a potential top five. I think he has a really good run this weekend at Nashville. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for the Xfinity Series race at Nashville. Who is my winner's pick? A lot of times we have Xfinity Series regulars just competing in the event, and I usually pick an Xfinity regular. However, there are a couple cup guys that are going to be running the Xfinity Series race at Nashville. I'm picking a cup guy. This guy was really, really good here at this race last year, finishing the top five. I am going to be going with Ty Gibbs to pick up his first Xfinity Series win of the 2023 season. 
This is Ty Gibbs, I believe, fourth Xfinity Series start. I don't think Ty has a limit how many races he can run. He ran really, really good at Coda, almost won there. Had a really strong car at Strong. Fortune had to come off due to field strategy, but something went wrong. And then, of course, I think he had some issues with the steering wheel as well. And then, of course, at Sonoma, had a top five car, but didn't have race winning pace in the event. I think Ty Gibbs is going to be really, really fast, and I think he has a very, very strong run this weekend at Nashville. And now we're going to jump onto the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend in Nashville. Who are the drivers to watch out for? The first driver to watch out for for this weekend is the driver of the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, John Hunter Nemechek. John Hunter has probably been the most consistent driver in the Xfinity Series so far in the 2023 season. And I think he's going to have another good chance of winning his potential third race of 2023. He just got to close out the deal. It's going to be really tough to beat Ty Gibbs this weekend, but I think he's got a definite shot of getting it done. I think he's easily going to be a threat. I think he's easily going to be a contender. And I think he's going to have a really good shot and a really good possibility of picking up the victory and national potentially getting that third win of 2023. My second driver to watch out for for this weekend is a driver of the 10 car for Call of Racing, AJ Allmendinger. Now, AJ Allmendinger has ran all of the oval, is all the road course races so far in the Xfinity Series. Well, two of the road course races, I should say. But this time he's running an oval, but he seems to run really good in the Xfinity Series regardless of the type of track. And while the 10 car has not been the fastest call of car at times this season, I think if anyone can get that car up front contending for victory, it certainly is going to be AJ Allmendinger. He's been part of his team for a couple years now. I think A.J. Allmendinger will contend for a victory this weekend at National Super Speedway. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend in Nashville is a driver's 16 car for Cog Racing, Chandler Smith. Chandler Smith has been really, really impressive in the 2023 season. Coming into the year when he joined Call of Racing, I was really shocked and surprised at the time when the announcement happened because I was not sure how it was going to do. But so far, I think he's done a very solid job in 2023. Got that win at Richmond, and I think had some pretty good pace to Darlington, a track very similar to Nashville, where he basically he was pretty good, if I'm not mistaken, at Dover as well. I think Chandler Smith has a really good chance and a really good shot of having a very, very fantastic and a really, really good run, and he could get his second victory of his career and his second win of 2023. And the fourth final driver to watch out for for this weekend in Nashville is the driver's seven car for junior motorsports, Justin Allgaier. Justin Allgaier has had a lot of momentum, especially as of recently. He's been running up in the top five and top ten. Pick up that win at Charlotte not too long ago, and I feel like the Justin Allgaier is really starting to merge, and he could have a shot of getting his second victory of 2023. And Junior Motorsports has been very, very quick and very fast at National Super Speedway the last couple times we have been here. Obviously, Josh Berry won the most recent Xfinity Series race in Nashville. So I'd imagine that Justin Auger is going to be fast. He's going to be really, really quick. And I think he's got a really good and awesome shot to potentially get a second Xfinity Series victory of the 2023 season. So, those are my race picks for the Xfinity Series race in Nashville. Justin Ryder, my suck picks are Brandon Jones, Daniel Hemmer. My underdog picks are Park Clergham and Carson Osamar. My winner's pick is Ty Gibbs. And the ones to watch are John Hernemachek, AJ Allmendinger, Chandler Smith, and Justin Allgaier. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be it for the NASCAR Xfinity Series race picks video for Nashville for the Tennessee Lottery 250. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and the channel notifications on to find when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. And let's go to below over that and combo your picks below for this weekend's Xfinity Series race in Nashville. Let me know your two suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, and let me know your race winner's pick, and let me know drivers you're watching out for for the Xfinity Series race in Nashville. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Tomorrow's channel is going to be double upload day on the channel. We've got the Josh Berry announcement that is coming tomorrow early afternoon. And we also have a NASCAR news video dropping tomorrow as well. Thursday is going to be race picks for the Cup Series race in Nashville. And then on Friday, we have a NASCAR news video all along with the Truck Series race to be from Nashville. Saturday, we'll have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race to be from Nashville. And then Sunday, of course, we'll have the Cup Series race to be from Nashville. And then the next week after that, it's going to be Chicago Street Course weekend. There's a lot of stuff to come out from that. Got a lot of content headed your way, a lot more content headed this way. And I'm really excited to share everything that I have in store for you guys. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.